Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. A drilling string of several kilometers length has many sensors at its bottom end, which supply us with a lot of information while drilling. This information is converted into a long code of zeros and ones, which is then transferred to the surface. The only question is, how can we transmit the string of numbers to the surface? There are different systems you can use. They all use the drilling mode as a transmission channel. For example, we can place a valve in the drill string, which can change the open flow area between fully open and a smaller cross-sectional area. Each time the cross-sectional area is reduced, the pressure increases in the entire drill string, and when the valve opens, the pressure falls back to the original level. You can define the high pressure, for example, as 1, and the lower pressure as 0. You can transfer the string of zeros and ones in the form of pressure fluctuations to the surface. But you can also transmit data by music. We will show you how this works. I kindly ask our artist to come on stage. Go ahead, sir. Thank you. That was a nice piece of music. Though it was a bit short, but that doesn't matter. Here I have written down the two notes. One deeper and one higher. Now we can just assign one tone to be zero and the other tone to be one. With this assignment, we can use the music to transmit data to the surface, so to speak. This is how a mod siren works. We have two major parts. One is the slotted rotor and the other is the slotted stator. The stator stands still and the rotor rotates behind the stator. Due to this rotation, the cross-sectional flow area of the drilling mod is continuously changed. And this creates a sine wave in the drill string, or a tone if you like. If we have the rotor rotate with different speeds, we can generate higher or lower tones. And with this, we can transmit zeros and ones, higher tones and lower tones to the surface. This actually works quite well. But unfortunately, the inner diameter of the string is not constant. It may change from component to component. At each transition, a part of the sound energy is reflected, creating an echo in the drill string. And this is why the signal from the siren, which was initially very clear, gets covered on its way to the surface by these echoes. And when at the surface, for example, the hydraulic noise from the mud pump is superimposed to the signal. It gets very hard to identify the zeros or the ones in such a very noisy environment. To make the situation even more difficult, we have to consider that low tones can be heard over much longer distances compared to higher tones. And a siren works at higher frequencies compared to a mud pulser. On the other hand, a siren can handle higher data rates than the pulser valve. At our institute here in Freiburg, we are working on improving the siren. We will keep the higher data rate of the siren, apply new mathematical algorithms to recognize the weak signal over longer distances than before. This will help to increase the reach of the mod siren so that it can be used in longer distances than before. How this is done, we can explain in our lecture, Drilling Engineering 2 here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.